Welcome to part one of the top seven basic functions you should know in Excel. So as this is part one, we're going to start super simple and super easy. And we're going to look at the sum function, which adds values together. So I have a bit of data in front of me. I've got an order, some order numbers. I've got an order amount and I want to know the total of the order amount column. So when you're doing a function, there's three different ways you can start and you can add that function into Excel. You can use the ribbon at the top. So that's where all the different options are and buttons are. And if I click on the formula tab, then you'll see I can add functions in there. I've got different options. They're broken down into different sections. And as long as I know which one I'm looking for, then I'll be able to go and find the function that I'm looking for. The second way of doing it is where you would see just underneath the ribbon where you would see what you were typing into a cell. There is an F and an X. And if I hover over that, you can see I've got insert function as an option. And if I click on it, the formula builder, the function builder is on the right hand side. I've got some recently used functions there and I can also search and that will help me. If it's a complex one, I might need a little bit more help understanding what I need to put into the system in order to get the information I want out of it. So you've got an option there as well. The third option and probably the easiest one for this one is to just type it in. And when you're doing simple functions, you might just want to type them in because it'll really help you get used to how they are set up, how they are made up, what you start with, what you end with, and it'll help you work better in Excel going forward. So what you need to do is click on the cell where you want this data to appear. And then when you're adding in a function, the first thing you're going to do is put in the equal sign because that tells Excel you're looking at a function. And then functions have really simple, easy to remember names like sum, like count, like average, like trim, things like that are all functions. So you're going to pop in the easy to remember name and you don't need to worry about capitals or lowercase. I'm just going to start typing in sum and you can see it's appeared there on the drop down. And I'm going to select sum as my option. Once I do, it's opened me up some brackets because I need to tell the system now, I need to tell Excel what I want it to add together. And I usually do that in brackets. And it's kind of given me a little bit of information below in a pop-up to help me out and help me understand what I'm doing. Now, there's two ways I can do this. I can either freehand and type this in or I can just select the boxes. Now, the easiest way to do this is obviously just go and select the boxes. So if I click and hold all the way down and drop it down so you can see now it's D2 colon D13. So it's counting, it's adding together the uh, values in D2 all the way down to D13. So that's going to give me a total. Now before I press enter, before I make this function work, I need to close my brackets because I've opened my brackets. I need to remember to close them. Really easy to do on simple functions like this one. But if you've got a more complex one with multiple sets of brackets, then you must remember to close all of your brackets or Excel won't be able to understand the function properly and won't be able to bring you the data back that you're looking for. So I'm going to close that bracket and then I'm just going to press enter. And that's then giving me the figure I'm looking for. So a nice, easy way of doing it. If I go back onto that cell, you can see the formula, the function is in the bar at the top. If I want to make any changes, I'm just going to double click on it and I can over type it or I can actually move that blue box that's currently around my data to show different data. So I've got a number of number of ways of amending that once I've created that sum function. So a super, super easy one to start off with and a little bit of information on there on how your functions are created. Have a go at that one. Please do check out the rest of the videos on the top seven functions. Please do like and subscribe and let me know what videos you'd like to see next.